Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how you can read data using View Firestore and real time database here. So let's start. First of all, if I come here, we have our table all the way up there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the TR for table row and the TD for table data. Now, of course, we are going to repeat the row and that's why we use V4 here. Now, here is the point. You have to say, okay, product in products which refer to the product here if you write it down for now you have the product here which is an array so if you write the product here now you have access to product information let's say product dot name if you save it come here it's showing the product name here very easy so which product is this you have products if I come here all the way down you have a product array here if you remove it save your file come here still you have your data what is this now so how it is going to work is when you define your file store here you say products this is going to store all the information in the product and it is going to take that from database and beside this one you have access to product in your html content here that is the fun, the fun part of the view file store now if i come to the console here into the view console i refresh it going to the product component where is the product here we do not have it if you want to show you have product of course this is the singular one which is empty if you want to have them here what you can do is you can scroll down i will control z here and we will add the product array here this time if i refresh the component let's see we have our array here and inside the products which is the plural all the products we have here now you have access to everything you want here this works just fine for now but we will do uh, some changes in the future and how it is going to work so this is how you read data you can put the price here you can modify it, anything you want you can have the content so let's add another field here N another product here this time we click on the add and let's see how it is going to work i said real time database so let's say we are going to sell a t-shirt and this is going to be description for t-shirt and the price is going to be $40 and let's say it is a t-shirt and it is going to be black we don't pick the image for now we didn't work on that one you click on the save changes yeah it add data if i close the model look at this one the t-shirt is already here we didn't do any changes we didn't watch we didn't listen to any listener it just pop it here how it work this is the magic about view file store it is going to listen for the changes and update that automatically here so we have to close our model window after we add data so that is easy like we have already done that once you add data to the database all you have to do is you have to oops you have to hide the model the product model so let us try that for the last time and this time we are going to send let's say i am going to say let's say i'm going to send a team let's say this is an online store and team description the price is going to be 30 dollar you can add some dollar sign here and this is going to be team and this is for wordpress and this is responsive for now you can save data of course if you are wondering why we add this one this is just for testing in future we will store that as a different array in the database for now we are storing like let's see one of the example here mm, i don't know how they are not order here t-shirt comma black it is not the right way of course i'm going to fix it in future videos so save the changes it should close the model window and it should update our table automatically here save changes yes oh where is the team yeah here's the team here updated so why it is not ordered correctly so that is what we fix in the next video it should be ordered correctly like you order that uh, based on created time or any other type so that is what we do in the next video thank you for watching